We have asked why and what. Let's ask how. How does one research? I'd like to give five main points. Articulate a question. Use an appropriate code, formulate an hypothesis that can be tested for validity, and narrow it down until it becomes feasible within the scope of your project. Search for existing answers to the question. Consume publications relating to your subject to the point of saturation, where you can be confident to have not missed important existing ideas. Design a methodology. Address the dichotomy of quantitative and qualitative research, the former of which is based on measurements and the latter based on discourse. Consider pathways for extrapolation of existing knowledge, where one combines and or infers the existence of new knowledge based on the existing. One example is that of analogy, where knowledge is recognized in one field and an analogous function is supposed in another. Consider experimentation. Design a framework for an experiment which creates a functional program around an hypothesis and or test results of an extrapolation. Create models that can be of an intellectual, technical, physical, and indeed aesthetic nature. They often seek to test an idea for functionality. Intellectual models categorize ideas based on analytic reflections and order them in a hierarchy so that they perform a specific intellectual function that tests the hypothesis in question. Technical and physical models may prove the functionality of a concept on a smaller scale and or within certain other variables. The question of an aesthetic model is one for later. In all cases, the success and conviction of the model can lead to the articulation of an original theory, be it general or specific, local or universal, that arises through the hypothesis and is tested in the model. Create distance from the subject, since objective distance creates transparency and can lead to the increased validity of your ideas for others. Distance can be difficult to create especially within qualitative models, methodologies. And it is never perfectly possible since the human intellect inherently contains implicit knowledge. Yet a clarity as to the objective and subjective components of your investigation is necessary to the research process.